The starter here, and a little bit of an uncomfortable situation. Both those guys obviously want to play, but you watch him on the sidelines. Very helpful to Tebow, the young guy trying to, as you said, learn the offense of the NFL a little bit better when it comes to the pass game, Mike. Let's see if he passes here, Alex. Third down and seven. Fires deep. Man out there, just over shot Decker. Decker had a half step. And how does Decker always get a half step? And by the way, they're going to have great protection up front. Here comes an overload blitz. They pick it all up. Here's Decker. Watch him get the D back turned and then break to the middle of the field and run by Eric Smith. If that ball is thrown two yards less, it's a huge play for Denver. And I'll tell you, Decker's faster than people give him credit for. Britton Colquitt in the punt now as the Broncos drive stalled at the 46 yard line. Jim Leonard waits and lets it go. This one takes a positive bounce, and this time number 12 did get there. Third time's a charm for Matthew Willis. Look at this ball bite when it hits. The point hits. Leonard can't believe it's going backwards. Matt Willis says thank you for the Sunday hop. Beautiful. Inside the one, a 53-yard punt. And Willis, who's been chasing those kicks all night long, finally got him one. So now the Jets have to huddle in their own end zone. This is where Denver's defense has to step up and make a play. Force them to punt out of their own end zone. And this is where you'd like to have Sean Green in the backfield, just to try to plow your way out of there. McKnight's a tailback. Sanchez takes the snap in his own end zone. He's going to go straight ahead with a fullback, and that's probably a good call to get a little bit of room. John Connor with a carry. That's only the eighth carry of the year for the big fullback. Fans are trying to make it very difficult on the Jets right now down there on that end of the field. Be very interesting to see if Schottenheimer has the confidence to play action and throw the ball, try and get it out from the shadow of their own goal line. You got one wide receiver in the game, and he's being covered by Champ Bell. Keller, the tight end, the motion man from the end zone. Sanchez incomplete, going for Keller, and couldn't hit him. And now it's going to bring up third down. Basically in your own end zone. You don't want to get caught holding back here either. Yeah, and they wanted to get the San Antonio home. Watch him get blown up in here. Champ Bailey forces him inside. He runs into two different players, including Dustin Keller, his own teammate. Nice job by the Broncos setting up a critical third and long. Tough spot for Sanchez. Now they've had some success with screen, and on the last time they did it inside their own 10 yard line. You get sacked in the end zone, it's a safety. If you have a holding call in the end zone, it's a safety. Third down and seven. They'll play it safe. McKnight, all wrapped up at the line of scrimmage by Doomerville. Great job by the Broncos defense. Doomerville chased it down from behind. And you can feel a shift in momentum in the stadium. They're yep. waking up now. That punt really did it. And now it's going to be a tough punt for Conley because he doesn't even have as much room as he'd like to have taken the snap here. Eddie Royal waiting back on the other end near midfield. Royal, fair catch taken in Jets territory. Denver City and County Building. The legislative branch of the government all lit up here on the almost holiday season. 10-3, Jets. 119 data points.